everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rubia and welcome to video number 28 for me. Today I'm creating this makeup look which I think is perfect for parties and nights out in specific Pakistani parties because that's where I have to go right now. And I just thought it would be fun for me to show you guys how I naturally glam myself up for parties or when I do have to go out. And so this is a look that's kind of typical for me. I really like how everything turned out in this video and I hope that you find this video helpful and you use some of the techniques I show you for your next night out. And yeah, please make sure to subscribe to my channel, like the video, and also if you subscribe, do hit that ring notification bell because it lets you know when I upload. And yeah, without further ado, let's just get in to the video. So I'm going to first start off with primer my skin with the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Primer. I'm just going to use this to fill in the pores around my face. Um, so I am, for the first time, I think, in any of my videos wearing my nose ring. I actually got my nose pierced when I was 12 years old. Uh, I just, I don't know why I don't wear it. I'm, I'm really bad at like accessorizing in general. But, like, it's crazy because my nose piercing, think Fully, it does not close close up because the one like my ear piercings they always close up so I'm thankful that my nose piercing does not. Okay, so next I'm gonna go in with foundation and I'm gonna go in with my favorite for party wear. This is the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation and I'm in the shade Syracuse. So I like to apply this foundation by pumping it on the back of my hand and then going in with a brush. This is a Sigma Round Kabuki brush the F82. I like to kind of just like smear it into my hand and then work it onto my face. I just find that that's how I get like the best finish. Once the foundation's on, I'm just going to pounce around with a beauty blender, just making sure everything's blended in. That brush honestly does a good job blending on its own, but if you want to, you can always just go in with the beauty blender. Next, I'm just going to cream contour, but I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood contour one. This is in the shade medium dark. Just gonna dot this all over my face and blend it out with the brush. So I like using the Charlotte Tilbury one for like a little bit more of a natural look. So if you go back to a few of my older, like the previous two to three videos, you'll see I've been contouring with the Makeup Forever Con Conceal and Define Concealer. And I love that for more of a structured face. But for like simpler parties, I like going in with the Charlotte Tilbury one because it gives me a really nice like defined finish, but it looks a lot lighter than the, the Makeup Forever concealer. That's why I like going in with this one when I just want a little bit more natural glam, I guess. But see, it's still like I have definition in everything. It's just not as opaque as the Makeup Forever one. And to correct some of this darkness, I'm going to first go into the Huda Beauty Overachiever Concealer. This is in the shade Graham Cracker. And I'm just going to put this on the parts of my face that I feel like need the most help. And so just in the hollows underneath my eyes. And you only need a little bit because this goes a really long way. I'm just going to spritz my beauty sponge with the All Nighter Setting Spray. And then push this product in. On top of that, I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Age Rewinder Concealer in the shade Sand. And I'm just going to put a little bit underneath my eyes and then just down the center of my face. I like this one a little bit more because it looks a little, it's a little less um, opaque as the Huda Beauty one. At this point, now that I have all my creams on, I'm just going to go back in with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray and just mist myself, let that dry, and then we'll come back to powder. Now that, that spray has dried down a little bit, I am just going to really quickly set down everywhere that I highlighted and I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette in this shade Dulce de Leche to set down both my highlight and my contour. So for the highlight part, I'm going to just dip my beauty blender into the yellow powder and push underneath of my eyes. So. I like this powder because it's so creamy in the palette that you'll see. I barely like tap my sponge in there and I get so much product that comes out. And I like it because it helps me push powder into the creases of my under eyes as well as it sets, it kind of leaves a little bit of a bake happening on my face. And I'm just going to use this yellow powder everywhere else that I highlighted as well. 
I'm not gonna let this yellow powder sit on my skin for too long because I just have been noticing that my skin's been a little drier. So I'm just gonna go in with the Maybelline Fit Me powder and this is in the shade 310 Sun Beige. And I'm just gonna take it on a Kabuki brush, this is by e.l.f. And I'm just gonna start pushing it into my skin and also using this powder to kind of dust away the bake. I noticed that with that, there's like less of a harsh difference between my skin and the bake. So it's still gonna be brighter as you can see, but there's like more of a blend. Okay, and then now I'm gonna dip back into that Wet n Wild palette. And with the Morphe Y11 brush, I'm just going to go into the bronzer shade. And I'm going to pack this on top of everywhere that I bronzed with that Charlotte Tilbury Magic Wand contour thing. And I'm just going to really, I want to do this like pretty lightly. I like this powder because I feel like if you want to pack it on and get like a really heavy contoured look going, you could do that. And also if you want to go in a little bit light handed with it, you can also do that with this powder. Honestly, these, this powder for the price point, I think it's only like five or six dollars is so good. And I reach for it more than any of my other like contour kits and I have like a few and I feel like not only is it like a good color, but it's also really beginner friendly. Okay, so really quickly I'm going to do my brows and I'm using the Benefit Brow Wiz. And then to do my brows, what I like to do is I like to push the tops of my eyebrows down with the spoolie. And then I like to just fill in the ridges around here. So I just like to kind of create like an edge around the tops of my brows after combing the hairs down. And I do this super lightly, with such a light touch of the brush, I mean the pencil. Once I have that, I like to now brush my hairs up. And then I'm just going to do like a slight line underneath of my brows. The way I do the line is like kind of just like creating a streak and like creating the hair like small little streaks and going through the entire brow instead of drawing like a line all the way across. It's just like creating these like flicked streaks into the brows but it's kind of like I do it in a line so that I get that definition but it's still it's not like a harsh line underneath of my brows. And then once I have like the top and bottom filled I just like to go into the middle and just kind of see anywhere that has sparse hairs. And just kind of darken it up a little bit and so you can see the difference between this brow and this brow let me do this brow real quick and we'll be right back okay so i'm back i did just really quickly conceal and powder the top of my eyelids i have been using the nars creamy matte concealer and the potted version just to just because i want to use it up so now i'm going to start working on the eyes and for that i'm going to go with my favorite palette it is the dead sea x katie palette and I am going to first dip into this shade right here, Necessary, the shade Necessary right here. I'm going to start working that into the top of my, my crease. And I am using a Fur Less ME3 brush, it's honestly one of my favorite brushes. It's so light and airy and it does a really good job of buffing shadow everywhere. It's just, it's a really good brush. And honestly, I really like this palette. Primarily, like the tones of the neutrals in here are so pretty. And then also, there's not a lot of fallout. It makes me want to try other Dose of Colors eyeshadows just because these are honestly like so easy to work with. Then I'm just going to go in to the shade Churro with the same brush. And then this one, I'm just lightly going to pack on this outer corner. Once I have also like the product spins on to the lids, I'm going to start buffing it through the crease. This is I want more depth finishing and like depth out here. And then just kind of work it to blend it into the crease, but I want most of that dark color to stay right here. So I'm, now I'm going to dip back into that shade Trudeau a little bit more. And I'm going to look up into a mirror and work on my lower lash line. When you look up into the mirror, you can kind of see the lash line a little bit better. So that's kind of why I like to look up into it so that your whole la lower lash line is more visible to you. 
I'm just gonna buff this churro shade all throughout. Now I'm gonna work on the lid, and for that I'm gonna be going in with the Wet n Wild Cat Suit like liquid eyeshadow. And this is the shade Cashmere Love. I'm just gonna swipe this on to my lid. It's such a pretty color, and I honestly love the effect of it. It's kind of like broken glitter. Okay, so now it's a little bit dry, so you can kind of see that finish that I was talking about. Again, it's not like an opaque glitter, but it just, it looks like shattered. I think Hourglass has like um, eyeshadows that are called shattered light, and it kind of just looks like that because there's color there, and then just when the light hits it at certain angles, like it just sparkles a little bit, and I really like, I honestly just, just love these liquid catsuit eyeshadows. And they have really nice colors, so if you don't want something like this, like, neutral, they do have like a blue and a red, and I think I'm gonna go pick some up because I really like the finish of it. But really quickly, just around these edges, I'm gonna go back in, I like just clean off any pigment that might have been on the brush. Just go around, make sure that everything is nice and blended. And then I'm just gonna do, I'm gonna do a wing with my Makeup Forever ink liner, so. I'm just going to do that really quick off camera, put on some mascara, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back with the eyeliner and the lashes done. I'm not wearing false lashes today just because I don't feel like the party I'm going to call for it. But if your party does, feel free to do so. So now I'm just going to finish off the rest of my face. So I'm first going to be going in with my tried and trusted MAC Gingerly Blush. This blush goes with every look I feel, and I'm going in with a Japanese brush. And again, the way I like to apply blush is by kind of like powdering it on to my skin and working it backwards to kind of mesh in with that contour. Okay, and then I'm going to go in with my super favorite highlight of the moment, which is the Bobbi Brown highlighting powder in the shade Bronze Glow. It looks like that. And I'm going in with the Sigma Strobe Fan Brush, and I'm just going to put this onto like just the backs of my cheekbones. I had mentioned it in my last video of how like to photograph well, that if you do choose to put on highlight um, for parties, it's just most flattering I've found to just have it in the on the backs of your cheekbones just because I feel like you kind of have more control of how it gets photographed if you're photographed from any angle. And especially if you have super round cheeks like I do, highlight just enhances that, I feel. So if you, this is just the way I've been putting on my highlight lately. Okay, so now I'm just, again, going to really lightly mist myself with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I'm going to cover my eyes at this point and spray around it just because I want to set down all of the powders. So while your face is still a little damp, you just want to go in with your beauty blender and push everything in. I find that if you do it this way, the beauty blender will pick up any extra powder that you might have lingering around on your face. Okay, so finally we just have the lips left, so I'm going to first go in with the KKW Lip Liner in the shade New 2 and line my lips and fill them in slightly. For lipstick, I'm going in with the Lime Crime Lip Velveteen in the shade Cindy. Really Okay, you guys, and that completes this makeup look. I really hope you found this video fun and helpful and that you found some new products that you might want to incorporate into your next night out. I really am enjoying this Wet n Wild liquid cat suit eyeshadow. I hope the camera is doing the little specks of, like, reflex it highlights justice. And again, I feel like this is, like, a really nice glam look that is a little bit more natural and easy to wear out out at parties and like nights out and yeah i really hope that you guys do recreate it if you do end up purchasing this liquid eyeshadow and create a look with it please tag me or comment down below i'd love to see how it looks on different skin tones and like different shades of this i am actually going to go pick up a few more colors and yeah if you want to see a certain look paired with like a certain color so if you're wearing a certain color and you'd like to know how to match it or if there is a celebrity look you'd like me to recreate you can always let me know in the comments down below or tag me on instagram my handle is at reps beauty and yeah so that will complete this look and i will see you guys in my next one have a wonderful beautiful day bye